All right, here's a quick uh, video just using the exported uh, teeth from Buskai Plan. Uh, the better tertiary anatomy teeth that uh, people are creating themselves uh, are excellent, and they'll be even better for this purpose. But for now, uh, this should be a pretty simple example. So creating face groups is what, we're, what I'm going to show you and how to use those um, to refine anatomy. But So basically, if I, I'm going to just mess with um, tooth number three, uh, or upper first uh, maxillary molar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S for select, and I'm going to change this um, brush size to around 50 or so. And I'm going to just essentially highlight the cusp. And then if you can hit, uh, you can go over here to create face group or just hit control G. And that's going to create a unique, uh, s like basically surface. And then I can come and highlight this tooth as well, or this cusp as well. And then control G. And then select here. Control G. And then select this cusp as well. Control G. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the cent the grooves. I'm going to make I'm going to go ahead and get the mass the majority of it first. And then I'm going to go through and kind of fill in the gaps a little bit by making this brush a bit smaller. Um, kind of extend right up into here. Extend up into here. Um, you could actually, well, I'll go ahead and hit Control G. Let's hit Select. Double click this. If I double click the green, the entire green turns. And I'm going to go ahead and get the leftover parts that I missed. And then hit Control G again. So now the spaces are pretty filled. One last thing you could do is you could come in right here, hit Control G, and now we've got a marginal ridge. Select and got a marginal ridge again. Control G. I, th I don't know if that to anyone else, but this kind of reminds me of when I was waxing teeth in dental school. We had to use different waxes for different um, anatomical features. Um, so anyway, this would be an example. So now we've got this t this tooth sort of sectioned out by anatomical landmarks. Um, so now we can go over here. We can well first we can hit select again and say we're going to move this cusp because it's just not you know we need to have this really pointed cusp because that's just the anatomy that patient has or we want to match it. So if we double click here, it's going to highlight the entire uh, face group, and then we can come over to modify or sorry deform and hit soft transform or shift T. And you can change the bow the, um, the fall off. You can do things to make it not quite as extreme. But here's what happens, as you can see. We can move this area. I can pull this specific cusp down. And um, yeah, so th and now we can go ahead and accept that. Now I can come over here, select, select that, Shift T. And I can move this cusp around a little to wherever I think you know it needs to be for this specific anatomy. Bring it down. That's good. And then say we want a really deep central groove. Shift T. That's the problem. Sometimes we get these weird uh, peri um, perimeters. So this is a, a one-time. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but. There are glitches that sometimes occur, so um, I'm going to try and refine it sometimes just by refining the edges. We'll get that to go away. It won't always. Uh, that is that is a um, a problem that I've encountered with a uh, with Mesh Mixer. So we'll see if we can get it to soft transform now. Let's see if it... Yeah, now it's selecting the entire thing. So uh, that's due to the fall off and various boundaries that are being um incorporated so um when i hit shift t you can start s um uh messing with the fall off and various things to try to refine it so it's not quite as um um uh, all encompassing the tooth but that's where i'm going coming with it's, it's something that i'm this is the first time i've even tried toying around with this idea so uh, there's definitely a lot of development that would be needed to get this just right but um Anyway, I think it's definitely something that we could work toward um, as far as uh, trying to get it to allow us. Oh, um, 
to refine the anatomy of our teeth um, uh, specific for a, for a true wax up. Uh, bringing that marginal ridge over and bringing it down a little bit. Um, again, right now, because the fall off is so large, it's affecting the cusps. So something definitely to tweak around with, um, but I think it's a good start. So hope that makes sense.